Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Munson, and today I want to show you around our latest Baja build. This rig is going to be on a Chevy 3500, and before we step inside, I'll just take you through some of the exterior highlights of this build. When it comes to exterior highlights, we'll just start with the overall camper. So this is a custom composite camper shell with an articulating topper. All the way up top here, we'll, you'll see that we have a Fiamma F45 awning. We have the side door entry here, so this has a nice little latching system that's magnetic so that the door stays open once it's opened. As you open this door, our side step is going to electronically come out, so you have a nice um, step up to get in there. Additionally, back here we have our custom Ross Monster Max Shacks table mounting system, so you can flip this down and make a nice happy hour table while also having a great storage solution for your Max Shacks. Um, all the way in the rear here you see we have a small little 12 by 12 molly panel that's going to be for a flag mount and then beneath that we just have a little exterior storage compartment um, for some smaller things that you might not want to take inside the vehicle. In the rear of the vehicle here we have a custom Ross Monster bumper so a nice feature about this one is that all welding lines have been sanded so it's nice and smooth. Additionally back here you'll see that we have um, a four inch LED light up top so that you can light things up as you're loading up back here. We also have our three Molly panels here in a row. So this is going to be storage for our spare tire, but also somewhere that they plan to put two one up bike trays and also a kayak rack. Um, additionally, back here, you'll see that we have this hook and winch installed. So that's gonna help them haul up the spare tire um, when they need to get it up there. It's also gonna help out with that kayak. Over here on the driver's side of the vehicle, we can see the port for our exterior shower. So that's going to pull from the Ricks and Hydronic Heat and Hot Water System as well and give you a nice warm outdoor shower as well as a warm inside shower. We also have the fill for our water tanks and an additional Molly panel for more storage options. In the front of the vehicle, we have a Fab Fours Matrix front bumper. We have a winch in that front bumper as well as some rigid light bars. So we have the light bar down here. We also have a light bar up top. We have our LED running lights on both sides. Um, and then we also have an onboard air compressor on this rig. So we have ports for that in the front and the rear of the vehicle. Welcome inside. Before we go into the specific components of this vehicle, I'll just talk about design as well as the overall layout. So starting on the ceiling, we have a white painted ceiling panels. Moving down from there, all of our wall panels are going to be upholstered in gray mix Duramax. We have a butcher block countertop throughout our galley, and then all of our uppers are going to be maple slab door, and all of our lowers are going to be maple with a gray wash stain. Additionally, in our dinette, the seats are going to be upholstered in a millennium space blue, and our floors are going to be oak. When it comes to layout, we have our over cab bed, so that's going to be roughly a queen size bed there. Moving back from there, we'll have our galley predominantly on the driver's side of the vehicle. We'll have our dinette area over here on the passenger side. And then in the rear, we just have a bunch of storage. We have our really nice roomy fridge and freezer, and then we have our indoor shower here. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. So starting in the front of the vehicle, we have our over cab bed. This is going to be a custom five inch mattress in the front of the cab over portion there. You can see that we have two little soft covers over the cubbies so you can have some nice storage options in there. Additionally, to get into this bed, you have your custom Ross Monster ladder here. You also have a hideaway step in maple that can pull out right here and that drops down to make another nice little stairway to get into the bed. In the galley of this vehicle, as I mentioned, we have butcher block countertops. We have a 21 by 20 Rivati sink here with the cutting board insert. Moving forward from there, we have an Impava two burner induction cooktop. And then behind that, we have a travertine backsplash. So that'll allow this to be a nice, easy to clean kitchen area. Above our Impava two burner induction cooktop, we just have some nice um, storage upper is here. All of this is going to have gas struts for assisted opening and closing and also have our V-latches so that when you're in transit everything is going to stay nicely in place. And then we also have a microwave above, directly above the cooktop. Moving down from there we just have some nice lower storage here. So we have all of our plumbing systems beneath this sink here. We have a storage for our Rixon Hydronic Cotton Hot heat and hot water system in front of that and then we just have a ton of drawer banks down this center bank here. The last feature within this galley is that you have the pull out butcher block countertop extension so you can kind of extend your workable space in this area. 
Moving over to the passenger side of the vehicle, we have our dinette. So this is a nice little area for two. We have a butcher block table, which is gonna be on a lagoon mount, so it can swivel around and be used wherever, wherever it makes the most sense in that moment. Um, the floor has been raised beneath this dinette so that it's a nice, comfortable seating position for both people. We also have an Arctic turn awning style window here so you can enjoy the view outside. Great thing about these windows is that you have the bug screen, but you also have a blackout curtain so you can get into some stealth camping as well. And then the last really fun feature about this dinette is that we can drop the table down between the two seats and turn it into a sideways facing bench seat. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So once you get that insert into the center here, you have a nice bench seat for people to sit sideways um, and chat with people while they're making food or utilizing the galley area. An additional nice thing about this dinette unit is that we have storage under both of our bench seats. So that storage is going to predominantly house our power systems. So in this vehicle, we have 600 amp hours of lithium ion battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter. We have a 500 watt solar array up top. And then we also have a Victron Energy Smart Battery Management System. As we move back from here, we can remove this backrest and check out the little closet storage back here. So again, this port will give you access to your inverter and a few of your other power systems, but it's also just a great little storage nook. Additionally, above our dinette, we have some more uppers, again, on gas struts for easy opening and closing. And then we'll work our way further back, and we have a nice storage shelf when the top is lifted. Um, and then underneath that, we have a Cruise 200 isotherm fridge and freezer. So these are really nice because your freezer is actually separated out from your fridge. Um, it's nice and roomy so that you can take a whole lot of stuff and get off the grid for quite a while. Beneath our fridge, we have an additional shelving storage unit. So you can just open up both of these doors. You have a ton of space to store things back there. Additionally, on the driver's side of the vehicle here, we have our shower. So you'll notice that we have a slab door. It's gonna be maple, it's gonna be gray wash stained so that it matches the rest of the cabinetry. You open that up and you have your 24 by 36 shower. This is a telescoping shower, so as you lower the top, this will also come down. Uh, we have a nice shower curtain in here to make sure everything is waterproof and all the water is staying within the shower. Uh, we have aluminum walls. You'll notice that we have a custom teak shower grate insert in the bottom there. And then we also have storage for our separate toilet. So this opening here is gonna be exactly 20 inches. So that's plenty so that you can remove and replace your toilet when it's in use or not when you want it out of there so you can have a nice shower. So this shower is gonna drain directly into an exterior gray water tank. Um, when it comes to freshwater tanks, we have an interior 30 gallon freshwater tank, which is gonna be housed underneath our sink here. And then we also have an additional 50 gallon freshwater tank mounted, undermounted to the exterior of the vehicle. When it comes to heating and cooling in here, you'll notice that we have a Dometic Penguin 2 AC unit up top. And then as I mentioned for heat, we have that Rixon hydronic heat and hot water system. When it comes to ventilation, you'll see that we have a half slide window in our galley area. We also have a half slide over the bed, um, the over cab bed. And then as I mentioned, we have the Arctic turn window at the dinette here. And then lastly, we have a max air fan directly above my head, which will serve as our bathroom area as well as our galley. As always in our Baja truck campers, we have this nice insulated um, pass through. So this is gonna be a double insulated pass through with zippers on both sides. So you can just undo it, roll it up, and then have access to the main cab of your vehicle. A final really custom feature of this truck is that we have this six inch lifted platform in the cab of the vehicle. So you can have little storage compartments underneath both of these um, cubbies. And then a portion of this can also be removed so that if you do actually have a passenger back here, they can have room for their feet. That wraps up this track. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.